Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. Today I am finally starting on a mosaic commission that's been in the works for quite a while. So I started a while back, I was contacted and met with the client and saw where they're going to be installed and, uh, and then did the design work back and forth a little bit until finally the designs were approved and then I ordered materials and now I'm finally ready to start. So here it is on my workbench over there. Let me just show it to you. So this mosaic is one of four panels that will be put on the outside of a church and they are the four evangelists. So the first one is St. Matthew and it's represented by an angel. And then there's St. Mark, Luke, and John. So this is just the first one and I had to order some gold. Can you see my gold small tea for the halo? And they want it in stained glass. So I have um, prepared everything. I've actually put it on a separate board in case I wanna move it from one work surface to another. And uh, the design is under um, shelf paper, which is plasticky. I will be using Thinset um, Laticrete 254, which is going to be perfect. And they want stained glass. So I'm gonna be working, I'm gonna be putting mesh over this and then starting in with the Thinset and the stained glass today. Now I'm set up and ready to work. You can see I have added an alkali resistant fiberglass mesh over my image and that makes the image a little bit harder to see. So I have my original up here so that I can look at it and see the colors and, and how I want it to be. And I also have this mosaic that I did earlier. I'm gonna start with the eye. So I just wanna show the eye closely. See how over the eye there is a dark outline and then there are some red elements and lighter outline underneath. I'm going to do something like that, but not. I'm not going to have so much color variation, um, not as much as this one has. It's going to be a smoother transition, but I am going to make some darker areas uh, around the face um, and the eyes and nose, just because this is going to be on the second floor outside, and there is no way to see it unless you are looking at it from a distance. So I want to make sure that it reads very well. So I'm going to probably punch up the dark a little bit just so that you can see it a little I'm bit. Starting with the pupils and I have some black glass. The glass that I'm using is a little bit rippled on one side and has a little bit more texture on the other. Overall, it's very smooth, but I will be putting the more textured side up. And I have a cutting mat here, so it's kind of hard to see because it's black on black, but I starting with just it. cut the corners off. And then if it's a little bit too bumpy, I can nip those corners. So that's just the right size. Just smooth it out just a hair. And now the other one. All right, I have the pupils cut out and they are pretty round and they are very even and that's important because you don't want to have that off from the beginning. The eyes are the most important part. They're also the trickiest part and they have the most fiddly details so that's why I'm starting with the eyes and then I can have a lot more fun when I'm working on the rest. This is my palette for the eyes. I've got a very very dark brown that I'll be using uh, on the top to uh, give some definition to it and then I've got this bluish it's a deep bluish brown that I'll be using to ring the eye on the bottom and to put in some of the dark blues along the top. I've also got this, this is a gorgeous uh, blue that I'll be using mostly for the eyes at the top especially. I'm going to pop in a piece of this. It's pretty intense and it's gonna bring up the hue so you should be able to tell that the eyes are blue from 
maybe from further away. And then this will be the highlight blue. to do is let this thin set set up just a little bit so it's not a wet mess and then I can scrape it away any excess because I want to be able to butt the pieces right up next to each other without any problem so I have to keep going back and cleaning it up and I have to also make sure that it it is just the right depth I don't want any of the thin set to come up um, and prevent grout from going in those spaces because this will be grouted or to get on top of the glass so I did have a little bit of thin set get on top of this piece, but I did get it off the top, so it's good to go. have another commission that I'm going to start this week. This one is two fish that are going to be mounted on an exterior wall by the client. And so I'm going to use the same method where I work over mesh with thin set. But she has given me some photos that are not copyright free. So I am going to use them as inspiration to draw the fish first, and then I'll be able to mount it on a board and put the mesh over it and do all that business and get started. So let me get after that one. Here are the two images. Technically, this is not a fish. It's a sea anemone, I think. But anyway, this is the one fish that I'm gonna start with. And then I'm going to do this. This is the size that I'm doing. So it's gonna help me to draw it to more accurately if, since I printed it to scale. And I'm gonna start with the fish. I'm gonna draw it with pencil, and then I'm going to go over it with Sharpie so that I can see it through the mesh. That's it.
bit of trouble. There's some areas in there that are kind of undefined. Maybe that's a fin. I'm not quite sure, but uh, it's a good start. So it's good enough for this uh, step. And now I'm taking a piece of junk mail and putting it underneath there so that this Sharpie doesn't get on the table. And now I'm just going to trace it. So probably the part I'm not going to trace is where I'm not sure what's going on with the fish but I like the shape of his mouth. It looks like it did in the photo. It's kind of got this duh look on the mouth. found this old board in my garage and I'm going to put these next to each other so that I can work on them at the same time or one after the other. Either way, they both fit on here so I'm going to just put them together. So I start by taping them down and then I've got this shelf paper doesn't quite fit that way, so I'll have to cut some and go this way. I have cut out the clear shelf paper to fit on here. And now to peel off the backing, I like to start in one corner. And you want to try to get this down as smooth as possible with as few bubbles as possible. No matter what I try, it seems like I get bubbles, but it doesn't matter if there are bubbles. It's just better if there are not. I like to do it at an angle, so and I peel it back slowly and then press it down. Pretty good so far. Oh, not bad. And now the mesh. Mesh comes on a roll, but I have this huge piece. I'm going to cut this out and take this on top of there, like so. All right, so I just finished getting this prepped to work on and I have no place to work on it. Look where I have it momentarily. Over here, I've got jewelry. Over here, I've got sunflowers. I even have a bottle waiting for me to work on it right there. But this, this, I wanna get started on before I do the fish. I'm just gonna work for, I'm gonna put, set the timer on I'm just gonna work for a little bit because I've been wanting, just dying to get started because I have saved my feather cuts from my other sunflowers. And so I already have a bunch of pieces cut and they're all sorted by color. So I can just pull some out and glue some down and then I'll have started on it and then I'll pick it up and get started on the fish. I've pulled several yellows. This one's too bright. This one's not bright enough. This one's perfect. I'm going to use this. There's only a little bit. That's okay. I'm just going to get started. I like this red, but it's a little dull. I think I'm going to use it. I'm going to mix in some of these other red ones that I've already done. Not doing the red today, though. Just the yellow. I just wanted to get started. I'm going to glue these down. just put the yellow in and now I need to go work on the other projects so I'm gonna have to stop but I didn't even use it all I had a little bit left so I'm gonna bag that back up and stick it in my bin for next time I'm done over my shoulder this past time won't help me getting over it
take a step back and look at it. There are two pieces that are not working for me. They are these two. They're just a little bit too dark. They belong more on the edge over here. And that's the nice thing about working on the mesh. I can go ahead and pull them up before that uh, thin set sets up all the way and replace them with the correct glass. That's it. You may be wondering why he looks so much older all of a sudden. It's because I've drawn these lines. They're not wrinkles. That's to help me uh, to fill in the glass uh, and decide how I'm going to lay it. Drawing out a, a little bit of that uh, will help me when it, when it comes time to laying it in. That's it. I'm about to start on this fish, and I'm going to begin with the eye because that's the most difficult, tricky part. And I have this beautiful frit ball that is in a type of glass called adventuring blue. So it has a little bit of a sparkle to it. And that's gonna be the pupil. And then I will add a ring of blue and then a ring of yellow. And then I'll get started on the, the fish itself. I have picked out this really neat blue glass with a ripple on it for the rest of the fish. And it's going to hopefully um, show some of the rippling that's on this reference photo. The thin set is coming up a little bit too high, such as between these two pieces. I will remove the piece, one of them at least, and just clean off excess thin set. Pull just a tad bit out from in between the two and then replace the piece. And I find that that is usually enough to fix the problem. This has been so much fun with so many colors. I could not wait to get to this ridged glass. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in and then I'm gonna have to call it quits. But I, I'm so excited that I got to this part. as far 
as I can get on the fish this week, but boy, I can't wait to get after the rest of this ripple. Let's see if I can show that texture on the glass. Um, I'll wait for this inset to set up just a little bit and then I, I'll clean that up. But that's about it for this week. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.